Welcome to SMA News. I'm Nay Bradish, reporting from my trying to look studious with books home office in Bethlehem. And from the only clear wall in my house, I'm Sam Scott in Andover. You join us tonight in the middle of a developing and highly unusual story. So far, we have had pregnancy, kings, a star, sheep, and considerable confusion about social distancing regulations. <laughs> Certainly true, Nay. Uh, this year has possibly been one of the weirdest years when it comes to stories. I know there's certainly been uh, some strange ones, but this is possibly the strangest. Before we uh, keep you up to date with everything that is going on with this story tonight, we are going to go straight over to David with the weather. Oh yes, thanks. Here's your weather. Clear skies with an absolutely massive star. Uh, sorry, a massive star. I mean, it's huge. It really is the main star in the sky. So, so your whole weather report is that there is a star? Yes, it's kind of a big deal. Look, it even flashes. Oh, OK. Well, we are going to move straight on from that because it has been uh, a bit weird. Uh, and we've had reports of shepherds moving throughout the town tonight. Nay, I believe you've got some with you. Sam, that is right. I am here live with the shepherds. Um, just take it from the top, shepherdesses, and just tell us about your experience. Hello, yes, we were just walking around in our field with our sheep um, and then this angel just came. Sorry, can I, sorry, I just need to stop you there. So what are you doing? What do you mean? I mean, it's like you're on a boat or something. I mean, why are you, why are you going? Side to side. Oh, mate, you've got to keep steps up. Because we're in tier two, we just got to keep fit. Right. OK, anyway, so the angels, what did they say? This is the weirdest bit. Yeah. So there's like a baby to be born in Bethlehem. And he's our saviour. He's going to bring joy to the world. And so, like, what do you do with that? Tell them all about it. So... A whole load of them talking, hundreds appeared and started singing. Wow, so what did you do? What would you do? We went searching for the baby. Amazing! Well, thank you for telling us that incredible stories, Shepherdesses. We're very grateful for your time. Sam, would you believe it? I know, Nay, quite the story. I believe we are just getting some images of angels that may, I think, are on your screens. Now, these are images caught earlier today of angels running around and over quite extraordinary, quite extraordinary. We're just going to interrupt those images because we're hearing of a couple going around town trying to find a last minute place to stay. Now, joining us now is local innkeeper, Charlotte. Oh, Charles, I think you are, you're, on, you're on mute. So just pop it, unmute yourself and feel free to demask because totally safe on Zoom with us. Well, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> so I'm just taking this delivery for 45,000 masks and that's just for the animals. And then this couple comes knocking on the door and asks if we've got any room. Like, can you believe that without a booking? What did you say? Well, they'd come to me for a room because this late, there's nothing at any of the pubs or the Airbnbs. But then they saw that the rainbow was in the window and what with Joseph being a bit of a key worker, they came over and they asked for a room. So anyway, it turns out she was pregnant. And I mean, like she was bursting and she wants a home birth. So we've got the War Memorial Hospital on call and we're all trying to help each other out at the moment, aren't we? So I gave them a space in one of the outbuildings that we've got. So you've got them there right now? Yeah. OK, right. So what's at me? What's at me? A, uh, a pin drop of where you are, and I'm um, coming straight there, straight there, absolutely, great. Okay, well, as you can see, Nate has officially left. As we uh, continue through the night, we will keep you up to date with this developing story. But first, let's go over to David for a quick update from the weather. David. Tonight, you can see the star in its natural habitat, and it's absolutely massive. Okay, I mean, David has fully 
fully gone, it would seem. Uh, as we continue to follow this story, it seems star fever is infectious. Three wise men have recently been spotted following their own star. Uh, we caught up with them earlier today. We've come following a star. We believe it's going to take us to a king. You'd think that'd be simple enough, but this one won't ask for direction. That's the point of the star. Yes, but the star has brought us to town. We've been walking around this development for days. All right. So what will you do now? Well, we ran into this guy called Herod. Pretty intense. They gave us some directions. At least we know where we're going now. Oi! Oi! I'm sorry to interrupt there. I am just getting word that Nay is with the couple and the baby that has been the cause of all tonight's excitement. Nay, what do they have to say for themselves? Well, after all the excitement of today and this evening, I finally found the young couple that were wandering around with their baby and they've called him Jesus. And I must say, Sam, I know we were talking and I was moaning earlier about how Christmas is cancelled this year. There's going to be empty chairs around the Christmas lunch table. But actually, having spent time and met with this baby Jesus, I just feel a hope that I didn't even know I needed or would ever experience, let alone in a year like 2020. I just feel so hope-filled. 